Hi guys, my name is Belle and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about the new Jaclyn Hill highlighters. These are the Accent Light highlighters and they go for $29 on her website and I believe they are also in Ulta. Before we get started with the swatches, I am going to give you a close up of each of the highlighter and just let you know how they're described on her website. I only picked up three of these, so I picked up the three lightest uh, shades, obviously because I have fair skin, um, and those were the shades that would suit me the best. Before we get started, the highlighters come in packaging that looks like this. The packaging then opens and has a mirror on the inside that looks like this, and then the highlight is a baked highlight that just sits in the pan. It's really beautiful. The first shade that I picked up is Iced, and it's described as a lustrous iced champagne, and it looks like this. The next shade that I picked up is Sparks. This is a lustrous frosted gold, and I believe this is the lightest of the three. The last shade that I picked up was Mesmerized, and this is a lustrous soft peach. And it looks like this, it's like a peachy gold. All of these highlighters come with five grams of product and again are $29 on her website. I also picked up one of her bronzer blush duos, which looks like this, uh, which I have a separate video on because I just think the amount of products would have made the videos too long if they were together. So I decided to separate them. If you're interested in this video, it will be tagged at the end. I do want to make one comment on the packaging. I think the packaging is really nice. If you were to take the bronzing blush duo and try to stack the two, you can stack them pretty nicely uh, together. If you try to take two highlighters and stack them on top of each other to store them, the uh, raised J, which is really beautiful by the way, uh, keeps them from being able to stack, so you kind of get like a little bit of a mess when you're trying to store them. That's the only thing I would say packaging wise that upsets me. Besides that, I actually really like the packaging and I appreciate that unlike the uh, Pat McGrath palettes that have this same kind of angled mirror, this one angles back just slightly more. I don't know if anyone <laughs> has some of the Pat McGrath uh, mini palettes or maybe some of the motherships, uh, but I'm always kind of annoyed that the angle is like just too harsh for me, I guess, and I, I appreciate that this one's angled slightly further back. I think it makes it a little more, uh, I don't know, user-friendly. So now let's get into the swatches. The first one that I'm going to be swatching is Sparks. This one was the lightest of the three. It looks like this. Uh, these are baked. They're very beautiful high shine highlighters. And it looks like this. It's like a yellowy gold highlight. Very reflective, really beautiful, and has a very buttery finish. The next one I'm going to swatch is Iced. Uh, it looks like this. And I'm going to give some space because I'm going to be doing some comparison swatches. So that's Iced. Again, really beautiful. And then the final one that I'm going to swatch is Mesmerize. This is the deepest out of the three and this one is like the peachy gold highlight. And I, I actually think these are so smooth in the pan. Uh, it's kind of ridiculous. So those are the three swatched. I left some room in between them because I'm going to swatch uh, some other highlights in comparison. But they look like this. So the highlighters that I'm going to swatch in comparison are these that I got in a trio uh, from Becca. I am aware and very sadly so that Becca is going out of business, I think in September of this year. Um, but I do believe that these highlighters are pretty well known and are good comparisons. I also think that this trio just is very close to the three that I purchased from uh, Jaclyn Hill in comparison to a lot of the other highlighters I have especially the Pat McGrath one and the recent Anastasia Beverly Hills one. 
being very glittery highlights, I didn't think it really compared formula-wise to this, so I thought that instead what I would do was compare something that I thought was very similar, uh, and I think these Becca ones are relatively comparable. I don't think they're the same. I actually think the Jaclyn Hill ones feel a little smoother, um, but I think they're comparable. So I'm going to swatch these next to them, and I'm going to try to swatch them next to the comparable shade. So the first shade I'm going to swatch from Becca is Vanilla Quartz. It looks like this. It is whiter in tone than the Sparks highlight from Jaclyn Hill, but honestly kind of on the same level of like a whitish light gold highlight, so I thought it would be a good comparison. Um, the Jaclyn Hill one is definitely more uh, yellowy gold toned, where this one is definitely a little just whiter, um, but you guys will see. So I'm going to just put this over here. So you can see this one's a brighter white, where the Jaclyn one is a little more gold, uh, as opposed to this one. But I think they're kind of comparable, especially when they're actually on the cheek. So they look like that. So the next one I'm going to be using for comparison is Rose Quartz, and I'm going to be swatching this near the uh, Jaclyn Hill Iced. Again, not exactly the same. This one is definitely more of a pink highlight, uh, where this one is just not. It's more champagne-y. Um, but again, kind of like a similar formula, a similar feel, not baked, uh, so a little more powdery than this one that feels a little lighter. Uh, but I just wanted to swatch them next to each other so that you can see. So this is Rose Quartz. A little more pink as opposed to gold or champagne-y. Definitely a pink highlight uh, and not, but still beautiful. And then the last two I'm going to swatch in comparison are uh, Champagne Pop, which I believe is a very well-known highlighter uh, from Becca and also kind of a Jaclyn Hill throwback from Becca, so it looks like this and then Mesmerized from Jaclyn Hill, which looks like this. So you have these two. I think they're pretty similar, obviously not the same, um, but have a very similar gold peachy tone to them, which I think is really flattering for a lot of people. So here is Champagne Pop. Uh, and I think it's kind of like a combo between these two. I think that Mesmerize is a little darker. Uh, that's why I kind of swatched in the middle. So you have uh, Becca, Jacqueline, Becca, Jacqueline, Becca, Jacqueline. They look like this. All just really beautiful highlights. So now before I give my final thoughts, I am going to just apply the shade Iced to uh, my cheeks so that you guys can get a sense of what it looks like. Uh, so I'm just going to apply it right here. Again, I mean it's blinding. I think we were all kind of aware of that. Oh my god. Uh, and I definitely have to buff it out, so normally what I do is I apply it and then I take a powder brush and I buff it out afterwards. So that's what I'm going to do. Again, so that you can see, Iced is like slightly, I want to say like darker looking in the pan than it actually I think applies to your face just because it has such a uh, bright luminescence once it hits the light. Um, it's really beautiful. And I'm going to tone that down slightly just using a powder brush to give it a more natural glow. Obviously there are box lights behind me so that adds to the highlight effect. Um, so final thoughts on these. I think the highlighters are beautiful. You get a lot of product for the price. I would say that the only annoyance packaging wise is that the J for Jacqueline obviously is raised up. Uh, and that will make storing them on top of each other difficult or just storing them with anything else difficult. 
Uh, so if you've purchased multiple like I have, uh, it's kind of a pain storage wise. Same goes with the bronzer blush duo that looks like this. If you had multiples of these and you were trying to store them on top of each other, that would just not work. The only thing you really can do is store a highlight on top of the bronzer and blush. That does work. Uh, but besides that, you're going to start having an issue just because that's raised up. Uh, aside from that, I think the packaging is really nice. I have been enjoying the highlights so far. I think that the three shades I got are pretty good for people of my uh, fair skin tone. I think that there are some shades in uh, deeper tones if you're interested in that. Uh, I did not pick those up to swatch them. Uh, but if you guys are interested in those, just comment them down below and I can try to get them and swatch them for you and maybe compare them to other uh, deeper toned highlights. So if you're enjoying this content from me, uh, definitely like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And definitely comment down below if you're excited for these highlights, if you're excited for uh, the Jaclyn Cosmetics new launches, if you're not, if you're really feeling another highlight. Uh, I really appreciate your comments. I just love to read them. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day or night or morning or whatever time it is. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.